If you've been watching the channel for very long, you may have heard me talk about hog holsters and how they are my favorite holster I have ever used. And you may have also heard me say that I'm not even sure I can define what it is that makes them that way. There's just some, 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 some sort of secret special thing about them. Well, not too long ago, my wife and I had the opportunity to travel to Phoenix, Arizona uh, to buy a Jeep from John Abbott at Hog Holsters. And we had had time to hang out with him and his wife, but also I got the extremely rare opportunity to visit the super secret hog holsters factory. Um, I don't think, I don't know if anybody else has ever had that opportunity. And I found out what the secret is to hog holsters. And I'm going to share that with you coming up next here on survival on purpose. Don't tell John. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. And I decided to make this video because today I got a package from Hog Holsters. And this actually contains a holster that I had the extremely rare honor and privilege of being present when it was made, as I did this one. Um, so. And like I said, I really don't know that John has ever let anybody into his factory before. I may be the only one. I mean, it was, and he was hesitant about that. He just like had to, I almost had to sign an NDA. Uh, he just doesn't. He he he's got some secrets he doesn't want to share, and, and I respect that. So, but I found out the main secret to his to what what makes these holsters so special, and. I'm going to share it with you, but just don't tell John, okay? But but first, let's see if you can figure it out uh, as, as we go through this. I'm going to tell you about my, uh, my visit there. And maybe you can figure it out for yourself, so John won't be able to say I told you, right? So first of all, let's talk about hog holsters for a minute. Um, hog holsters are, here's, I'm going to show you two different ones. Like I've said before, I've tried many, many, many different holsters, uh, like like many people have who, who've decided to start concealed carry firearm of a firearm. And you know, I buy them, and they didn't. I just that some of them were okay. Nothing ever really quite worked like I wanted it to. Nothing ever really seemed to to to, to just be the one until I discovered hog holsters. And so this is an example of a hog holster. I'm gonna give you some close-ups of this because I think it's really cool. And and this is actually made for a Glock 17 for my nephew. It's made when I was there. But you can see um, this is uh, the Kydex John uses is is pretty thin. This is the carbon fiber version. All, all John's holsters feature the Ulti Clip, which I like a lot. This is the standard Ulti Clip. He also has the uh, Ulti Clip XL, XL available, which goes over your belt. I like this one. It clips to your pants or, or to anything, basically, um, and it holds an incredible amount of force. I've never had a problem with this. I've went through several different firearms training classes with my hog holsters with Ulti Clip on them. Um, I mean, like active, rolling around on the ground classes, no issues whatsoever. So. But since I don't have a Glock 17 to show you because it's my nephew's, um, I've got a Glock 19. You can see how it fits in here. It snaps really well. The retention is going to be the same. And that's something else I like about John's holsters. The retention is really, really good. But before we talk about all that, let me just ramble for a second. So I've recommended hog holsters over the last several years to lots and lots and lots of people. And a lot, lot, lot of people respond to me and tell me, hey, they got their hog holsters. They're so glad that they did. They like them a lot. There's really been only one one com one complaint um if you want to call it a complaint uh, about hog holsters that i've had over the years and and that's that that maybe john might not make the particular holster for the particular gun that somebody has and there's a reason for that and i learned that reason um during my visit because john is a perfectionist and he wants his holsters to all be they got to meet his standards and if he's if he doesn't think he's able to to make a holster that meets his standards um, then that's the main reason he's not going to make a holster let me just show you what i mean by that in a couple of ways first of all you hear that snap in this thing has got retention it's perfect like it's easy to draw if it's in but it ain't going to come out you have to make it come out of there and that's what you want in a concealed carry holster you don't want this thing flopping around and falling out you want it to stay in place but you also want to be able to draw it very easily. And here's an example. I've got mine on now and I can, um, I can draw it very easily and I can reholster it very easily. So now I've had one person recently asked me, say they'd never buy a holster that didn't have adjustable retention. And my question is, why do you need adjustable retention if the retention is perfect to begin with? That's another video. But I thought I would show you on this particular holster, one of the reasons that 
he, he just may not be able to make a holster for a, a particular gun unless you unless you're able to bring the gun to him because you can see this look at all this is this is not just a piece of kydex from folded around this you can see all the little different variations here all those are different channels which have to be in place just to show you by the way we're, we're, we're completely empty in here they have to be in place to, for all these little doodads on the side of a pistol and there's doodads on every pistol so little protrusions and little levers and little gadgets and little little whatever buttons and stuff they all have to be there and have to be right in order for tension to be right uh, this is a browning high power that john made a holster for me while i was there and i don't know that he makes these regularly because there's so many variations so if you got a pistol with a lot of different variations it may not be cost effective for him to have a mold for it um, and then when he does have a mold then he has to painstakingly by hand modify that mold to fit this particular pistol it took him just a, a few minutes actually several minutes to to modify the mold for the browning high power to fit this exact pistol which was um you know just part of the process because he is such a perfectionist um he's also developed several uh super secret techniques to to uh just make this better than normal uh, one thing that really impressed me was like john john builds these holsters crafts these holsters by hand just overall craftsmanship so there's no cnc machines no factory machines nothing stamping out no 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 high-tech machinery everyone is done by hand and honestly um that's something you're not going to get in most places so uh, if you get a holster it's going to be not just not just created by hand but it's fitted by hand and tested john tests tests every holster i watched him make a couple three different holsters every one he tests it he tweaks it he makes sure it has the correct retention and everything is right about it before it goes out of his shop and he's got by the way he's got a big box of holsters that just did not meet for one reason or another something went wrong it did not meet his criteria so he didn't ship them so chuck norris can kill your imaginary friends so anyway i said i was going to tell you a secret i think if there's any special secret sauce to John's holsters is the fact that he does make every single holster by hand individually. His two hands touch every holster, every facet, every every part of that process. He, he does it individually by hand with the attention to detail that I've not seen in a lot of places. And it really was refreshing to see that. And it was really truly an honor for John to allow me to see that because like I said, I know he does not let people into his factory. Um, that's just the way he is so um, i was really honored that he, he he was he allowed me to see that so anyway i just want to show you that again and, and to kind of give you the secret um, i highly encourage you if you're looking for a good concealed carry holster and if you're like me maybe you went through a lot of them before you found the right one man hog holsters h-a-w-g holsters which by the way stands for helping americans wear guns helping americans wear guns Man, I, I don't, I don't think you'll you'll find a better holster. I certainly have not. Um, this is absolutely the best holsters I have ever ever used. Um, and again, crafted by hand, so uh, no two are going to be exactly the same because they are made by hand. They're, they're, they are literally, um, you know, we're, they're not custom. I mean, he's got he's got some processes in place, but they're definitely made by hand, and, and some of them are custom. So therefore, uh, he may not have holsters for some kind of off the off the wall holster and he doesn't make holsters for berettas for a lot of reasons that's one of the reasons the other reason is he just doesn't like berettas uh, based upon some experiences from his time in the marine corps he was in desert storm he's a marine veteran so, um, so not only are his holsters very very good he's also a, a very good dude and a man of character and i like supporting small companies but that's not a reason to, to use somebody's holster the reason to use somebody's holster is because it can provide you with a very best retention and the best concealment and the best holster you can get and in my opinion that is what makes hog holsters special by the way uh, you can save 10 percent on any hog holsters order of 30 dollars or more by using the coupon code survivalonpurpose.com so that's a way to get an even better deal on the best holster i've ever used so i encourage you to check it out there'll be a link in the video description below and um thanks again to john for um not only making this excellent holster for me but also for letting me in uh be one of maybe one of the only people ever to see his super secret process and um again like i said i was going to tell you that that what i think the secret ingredient is and 
Again, I think it's just the attention to detail that John pays every single holster that comes out of his shop because he does them all by hand. So there you go. Uh, if you're looking for a great holster, be sure and check out Hog Holsters. Thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and every Saturday, sometimes random videos throughout the week. If you want to support the channel financially, I invite you to go to patreon.com slash survival on purpose. And if you want to find out some super secret benefits for doing that, speaking of super secrets, you're going to have to go to survivalonpurpose.com slash subscribe, sign up for my weekly email newsletter, where I can tell you all that stuff that I can't speak in public. I just can't tell the public. So, And you'll know why if, if you, if you um, just subscribe to the newsletter. So anyway, I really appreciate your support. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.